Hello, everyone, and welcome. We're here to celebrate Lorraine's inauguration as a professor. And I've known her for 25 years, and I'm an outsider to this institution, so I can take the opportunity of congratulating Lorraine, but really congratulating the University of the Arts and Central St. Martins for giving her the scope and resources to do what she's done. When I first met Lorraine, she was one of a group of students who were, I think students were more demanding then than they are now. And Lorraine was probably the most demanding of the students. I remember my first encounter with her was her asking me to explain with some kind of force uh, a difficult piece of theory. And I'd come across this kind of thing before, but never quite in this dramatic way. So I knew Lorraine from very early on, and I've known her since. And she's never failed to surprise and stimulate me. And the thing I think that everybody who knows her knows about her is that what she's really good at is creating dynamic, happy situations where people can work together. Um, so when Lorraine came to Middlesex, and I think her talk will reinforce this, she was an organic intellectual. She'd already brought a lot of experience to her studies. She'd been a trade unionist and um, a shop steward. And I was thinking about this as I was coming here, and I was thinking that the term organic has completely shifted meaning, but in a way, in the 21st century sense of organic, there's something about Lorraine's contribution that remains um, kind of full of integrity, life, and with all the goodness kept in. She continually, I think, reproduces a sense of excitement and adventure in her work. And the appointment of Lorraine to a professorship, I think, is entirely merited and completely suitable because there aren't many professors that I know who fulfill the kinds of requirements that universities usually make, which are excellence in teaching, um, management, entrepreneurship, research. And certainly, Lorraine is outstanding in all of those fields. But I think she brings other qualities as well, and the qualities that I would want to celebrate her for, and I think qualities that are very evident in her presentation, are an extraordinary intellectual curiosity, and a curiosity that's continually renewed. I think a really remarkable courage in adopting marginal and strange subject positions to inform her work an enormous generosity in bringing other people's work into play and giving other people opportunities to share in the research that she does. And, and something else I think that's evident in her presentation, a really extensive sense of humor. And it's not just humor as a kind of garnish, it's humor as a way of understanding. And I think the title of her lecture, Looking Awry, describes one of her methods very acutely, which is, to look at things in unusual ways, to make demands of them, and to enjoy them. There's a great deal of enjoyment in her work and a great deal of pleasure in the kind of ambience that she creates around it. So I think what we're celebrating here is not just an extraordinary intellectual achievement, but somebody who, for her entire career, has brought together the personal, the political, and the productive. And the productivity of her work, I think, is extraordinary.